Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley from Book of Songs, and today is my Book of the Month unboxing for October. So I've been getting Book of the Month for about a, almost about a year and a couple of months, I think now, and I absolutely love it. You can totally skip months and um, accumulate that way, <clears throat> which I have done the past couple of months, but I did find some books that I loved for October so I got those and it's just a great book um, subscription box you get uh, hardcovers for about $9.99 when usually they're like anywhere from 18 to 25 30 bucks and it's just great and they pick five selections every month ranging from thrillers literary fiction contemporary historical fiction, anything, any kind of genre, you name it. And yeah, it's just great because it will get me out of my comfort zone, which is awesome. Like, there's a couple books that I have read that normally I wouldn't have picked for myself, like The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. Love the book. Probably would have never chose it had it not been for a book of the month. So that's that, and we shall get on to what I chose for October. <clears throat> now don't recall, I have to look, what books were for this month, but I shall look it up and see. So the books for October were The Perishing by Natasha Dion, Dion which was, and they also have, like I said, early releases, so you get them a month earlier, so it's just awesome. Um, and that one, and then the next one was The Lincoln Highway by Moore Towles, The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling, uh, Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead, Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart. So those were the month, those were the books for this month. I actually only chose one of those books, but they have a whole list, a whole backlist of books that you could choose from, which I always love to do because, hey. So, let's see what I got. So, so you can totally see the one I chose from this month was The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling. It just sounds really cute and I've seen a lot of people say that they really enjoy it. And it's a spooky book somewhat for a movie this month. Who knows? The next one I believe was a book from the last month. Yeah, September. Which I've seen nothing but good things about. And with the way my romance reading and contemporary is going, I will, I'm sure I will adore this book. And that was The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. And the last book that I got was a book from July, which was 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. And this is a book set in like 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was kind of set in 2020 from last year. It shows the whole COVID thing and the pandemic and just the quarantine and stuff. And it's a thriller and it just sounds like it would be good and somewhat relatable so that's what I chose and then as always they always give you a bookmark that says book of the month and always says something on the back and then and this what and then what happened so that's fun but yeah those were my choices for this month and I'm excited for each and every one of them so yeah I will See you guys next time and let me know if you get it what you put what you picked. Bye guys.